This short video will show you how to delete copies via the item status interface in Sitka Evergreen. If you delete your library's last copy, the volume record will be deleted together with the copy. If this is also the last copy for the title, no other Sitka libraries have a copy, the bibliographic record will be deleted as well. So in most cases, you only need to delete the copy record. Evergreen will delete the volume and bibliographic records automatically. If you have the items in hand, the fastest way to delete them is via the item status interface. To open the item status interface, you can use keyboard shortcut F5 or click on the cataloging menu and select display item or the circulation menu and select show item status by barcode. You can delete individual copies or a whole list in batch. Scan all the barcodes into the barcode field or use Upload from File if your barcodes are saved in a file. It'll need to be a CSV file of barcodes only. We recommend that you work in batches of no more than 50 items. If working with a long list, you will need to uncheck Trim List as this limits the display to 20 rows. Now, it is Sitka best practice to review the status and owning library of items to be deleted. You'll want to configure the column picker to display status field and owning library field. Click on the column picker and select owning library and select status. Items with checked out status should not be deleted. Items with lost status cannot be checked in after they, do, they are deleted. Uh, you'll also want to verify your owning library as missed scans can result in another library's item being presented on the screen. You'll also want to review the screen for duplicates and make sure that all of the barcodes are unique. Select the barcodes by clicking on the first one and then shift clicking on the last one in the list. This will highlight all of the items in the list. Click on Actions for Catalogers and select Delete Items. Confirm deletion at the prompt by clicking Delete. The items will be deleted. If the items being deleted are the sole copy on the mark record, the volume and mark records will also be automatically deleted. Now the list items the item list created on the item status screen is temporary and will disappear once the tab is closed. To save the list for future reference, you can create a copy bucket. You may also delete copy records by utilizing buckets. The advantage to this is that you can keep a record of items deleted by not emptying or deleting the bucket. And once you have all the barcodes selected or highlighted, just click on Actions for Catalogers and select Add to Item Bucket. You can add to a new bucket or add items to an existing bucket. Uh, we'll add to an existing bucket. We'll cover the steps to delete items from copy buckets in the next snippet video. Thank you for watching this video and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.